I'm Professor Toby Alt from Cornell University, Department of Earth and Atmospheric Science, and I wanted to illustrate the greenhouse effect using a piece of glass, an infrared camera, and a blowtorch. Now everybody's familiar with the idea that the Earth is warmed up by the sun. Sunlight warms the Earth. And anybody who's sat around a campfire is also familiar with the idea that when you're close to the campfire, you feel heat radiating off of that campfire. That's invisible light. So we're going to heat up our model planet here, which is made out of metal. It's a metal globe with the blowtorch. We'll give it a nice polar ice cap on top of Greenland as well. And now we can see that invisible light radiating off of our model planet. Now the greenhouse effect gets its name from greenhouses, which are transparent in the visible wavelengths, but opaque or actually reflective in the infrared. So in front of our model planet, we're reflecting that light back down. Just like a greenhouse lets in visible light it's heated, and the long wavelengths have trouble escaping. The greenhouse effect for planets is analogous to what happens if you put on a sweatshirt. By putting on a sweatshirt, I'm now trapping more of that invisible light, that infrared radiation, closer to my body. It makes me more invisible in the infrared. And the greenhouse effect in our atmosphere is to trap more of that long wave radiation, to slow it down as it leaves the Earth. And we experience that slowdown as global warming, just as I experience warming from putting on the sweatshirt. Thank you.